Welcome back. I am going to be covering a little bit more about Zoom Immersive View. You may have uh, watched our recent video where we take a first look at this new feature in Zoom if you've updated recently. And now I'm going to take another look, having spent a little bit more time with it, talking to other people and testing it in different ways to give you some pros and cons. Now, number one, I'm doing a voiceover because when I initially tested recording this, and I'll insert that right now, when last time I tested this out, it didn't record the, the scene. So let's try it out. So what I did at this point is I switched from a Zoom recording to a screen recording. What I forgot to do was check if the screen recording had picked up my mic uh, because the Zoom recording initially was using my correct mic. It did not. I didn't realize that until I had filmed the entire video with my pros and cons that uh, no audio was picked up. So I'm going to do a voiceover and try to recreate what I did on screen. So it's not matching what I am saying in the video. I do apologize for that. We all have those tech days where, um, you know, there's some missteps. But I definitely wanted to use this footage because we are showing some different examples here. So I have, uh, we're picking a different immersive view here to test it out. Now I have myself on my um, main camera and then I have a secondary computer uh, filming me here too. So it is kind of possible to interview myself with two different cameras. Not the best angle to have one on the side, but I decided this time to come in with a different computer account so that I could pick up myself um, and test it out in a different way. Now, earlier, I, and I'll show you again in a moment, when the camera is off, it's not necessarily putting the person directly in the seat, but it is picking up from different cameras here, two different, you know, logins. Um, so technically I could kind of interview myself. That would be kind of funny and weird, but I wanted to demonstrate how it could be set up for an interview. That's the purpose of this, is that you could kind of be turning a little bit to the other person if you had this kind of, you know, understanding of the placement. And, but again, the only way you could record it looking in this view is if you were, uh, we're screen recording it and not recording it in Zoom. As we showed earlier with the white background, that's all it would pick up. It also, that white background previously is also what someone else sees if they have not updated their Zoom to the latest version. So here, if per a person has their camera off, it doesn't completely place them down at the bottom. But what I was testing here and I'm demonstrating with my phone, with the, late, the last video, and I'll link that here, when I recorded myself from a phone, it was, it was recording it as a circle. From a, another laptop, it is providing this square view um, of the picture. Now it does not include names, um, so that is one thing to consider. But I'm gonna get into some pros and cons. I'm just gonna change the view right now. So one pro is that this is new. It's a new look. Um, I'm testing right now different, you know, sizes of people when they have their cameras off. So there's pros and cons to that. And as we mentioned earlier, just like there's the pro of this is new, that's also the con that this is new and not everybody has updated. For an interview, um, we were just showing and talking about that. That is another pro that um, for this new option is that it would be an interesting view for a an interview. But as we mentioned too, the res the screen uh, Zoom does not include this background in the recording through Zoom. So you need to do a screen recording. 
Now with it being a fresh look, it's a great opportunity to draw people in with it being a new look. Um, it can be surprising, but again, everyone needs to update. And it, it, the con is it's only good for smaller groups and not for breakout groups. Um, and it's the host that has the complete control of launching the immersive view. Um, so if the host turns it on or off, that is changing the view for everyone. What I'm looking at here is the ability to turn off the view for non-video participants, that they're not part of it. So that is checking that off here, but testing that out, unless it's something that the, me the meeting has to be reopened, it didn't take away the person in the picture frame there because their camera's turned off. So that is another thing I've just tested. So another pro is that this is good for meetings. If you have a, um, a small group it, that is used to a different kind of view, this will draw them in um, and kind of, you know, change it up. But the the con is that people are used to the way it, it looks and this is completely different. That um, that people may or may not like this because it is new. Another pro is that it is giving you a variety here. So if it's just two people um, having a drink in the coffee shop, that is great, but it needs to fit your context and audience, and that is something to be aware of. It, it can be something that you play around with. It's fun, um, but some people might find it looks a little weird, um, and pe some people might not like it, so it's, that's another thing to consider. But for Another pro is that if you had a panel and picked the view that we just recently showed you, um, that would be an interesting experience for everyone that is watching it, as long as they have the most up-to-date zoom. Otherwise, they would just see us floating in white and that would throw them off. So some additional negative aspects or cons currently is that there are no names. So this is fine for a small group under 25 that you're having a meeting if you're for one segment of an event or meeting. In the background, if someone is setting up the breakout rooms, they can still do that even though the, the thumbnail tiles don't have videos here on the screen. It is something that then uh, they can still be setting up in the background that works just fine so i'm taking a look here you know there's the participant panel you can work with opening up breakout rooms as soon as you open up the rooms it would change it for everybody they'd be sent into the breakout room but if i had additional people here i could be setting up the breakouts in the background and it wouldn't impact that at all so another thing that I'm going to test here is the closed captioning and turning that on. This is kind of an interesting option. Uh, I could be just reading what I'm saying here, um, that it's fantastic. And it would be great with a screen recording because I could be recording this, um, but I have not tested the closed captioning before this moment with the recording. So it would be great to embed in the video to have the closed captioning uh, sort of subtitles with the transcript and it you know is an option but again for it to be captured in the view with me speaking um, I have to speak clearly clear enough and then it would be an added advantage in a screen recording to have me in this view and have the closed captioning built into the video. So this is just something that we're testing out right here. So I did just test it with a group and this is what it looked like. Now, of course, they did not have emoji faces, but I wanted to show you here without showing them um, that the people who had updated their Zoom, you can see them um, and their bodies. They're not in a square box like their video screen. And the people that 
did have um, didn't update their zoom they were still in that square video box and all they could see was a white background with all of us so that is an important aspect but this is what it looks like with some pros and cons about the latest zoom update with immersive view my name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services thank you for checking out this video or listening to the podcast um, please check out the blog below with the last video first look and these pros and cons listed in a chart with some additional tips until next time, I hope this was a light bulb learning moment for you that you are able to facilitate engaging experiences for your audience. And this is even capturing the words a couple of times in a row. Check testing this out with me. Thanks for checking it out. Until next time, take care.